Ano po ang magandang katangian ng isang Gibocho Doro na kailangan ng, ng bawat Pilipino as for good governance? Ang siguro, ang katangian ay very realistic ako and very unflinching sa korupsyon. No? Ako, na-manage ko na ang pinaka siguro popular na departamento ng gobyerno, Department of National Defense, ano, na lahat ng scrutiny, parang microscope, na on it, no, sa mga procurement, sa mga equipment, at sa lahat. At yan, uh, nakaraos ako ng dalawang taon, tatlo, apat na buwan, na wala na isang bahid ng korupsyon o nagnakaw ako ng isang piso sa ating mga kawal at sundalo, no. Bakit ho? Hindi naman dahil sa, huwag uh, mo naman sabihin na moral framework natin lahat, kung hindi, sa tiwala. I mean, you are given opportunities now. Opportunities probably not given to, to anybody. At 43 years old, I was already the Secretary of National Defense, of which not many opportunities of that matter are given. Uh, several individuals. Matagal na rin ho ako sa politika and I've experienced defeat in the sense na na-down kami politically, naging oposisyon ako, naging administrasyon. So each and every opportunity you get, uh, not merely to serve your country, but to prove yourself and to create a reputation of trust is a valuable one. So in the department, what we did was to open up all the processes in spending money to the private sector, which is not always a good thing because corruption can come from the private sector too, not only in the public sector. And you really have to be very wary about how you approach these things. But our watchdogs were the watchdogs nominated by the Bishop's Businessmen's Conference and the Makati Business Club, who are more really popularly known to be on the other side of the political fence. And any time they saw something wrong, whether a negotiated transaction or a bidded transaction, they could squawk out and I would stop it immediately. And I have done so several times. With the result that sometimes ako pa na de demand eh, but that's part of the equation. So I already have a proven track record of honest administration. And number two, the most important thing is that I intend to approach this as professionally as possible. Why? If I win, I will be leaving in, uh, after six years, so that's 2016, I will be 52 years old only. So there's a whole life ahead of me. There are a lot of things that I want to do and I still will do. This is my last stint in public service because I want to get out while I still can do other things that I still need to do. And in 2016, I want to come back to San Beda where your children will be still smiling at me and not spitting on me.